You could save a lot of time by creating a new Word document using a template. In this lesson, we'll use a template to create a fax cover sheet. And along the way, we'll become familiar with placeholder text and content controls. Here's the template we'll begin with. And when we're finished, the fax cover sheet will look like this. All we had to do was customize the document with our own text. So let's get started. We begin with the Word window program with no documents open. First thing we'll do is click on the File tab, then click on New, then what we're going to use is choose a template that's available in Word. So here in Backstage Views, what we see is at the top we see some available templates. A template is a document that's already been formatted for you. You customize the template with your own text. If you have an active internet connection, you can actually choose from the many templates available through office.com but we want to create a document based on an installed template. So here in the top section, I'll click Sample Templates, I'll scroll down in this list of templates, and then I'll click Oriel Facts. Notice they are in alphabetical order. So I click on Oriel Facts, and over here on the right a template um, preview is shown, and I'm going to click on Create. When I click on Create, I actually see the empty, tem empty template that I previewed earlier. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit so you can actually see the information that I'm actually working with. So first thing we're going to actually do is can take all of the placeholder text and type in information. So first thing I'm doing is up at the tops here it says pick a date. When I click on pick a date, what you actually see is a content control. A content control is an active object that you use to customize your text. It might include placeholder text or a drop down list of choices or a calendar as we see here. What I can actually do is I can scroll through the calendar if I'd like to choose the date or I would just click on today to choose the specific date. Now what I'm going to do is type in the recipient name. So I click on the control and I'm going to type in Kai Hakita, Hakita, there we go, guest. Now I'm going to type in the fax number. Which is 1-212-44-1. Dash one five one zero. I do not need the phone number, so I'm going to click at the end of the phone number line. I'm going to hit the backspace to get rid of the control. Then I'm going to click the backspace to get rid of the word phone. But I'm going to actually type information here in this line. I'm going to push down the control, the caps locks. Then I'm going to type in Hotel Marrakesh Room. 1275. I'm going to take off the cap locks. I'm going to put in who it is from. I'm going to enter in my fax number here. Make sure I'm including the dashes just like I did earlier. 619-555-1275. Zero nine three seven. Going to include the phone number. I'm going to click the control for page number, and it's three, comma, including the cover sheet. I'm going to put in the subject. So now I've actually replaced all of the um, placeholders that I need to replace and now I'm going to save this file. To save the file I go to, I can go to File and Save or I can click on the Save icon in the uh, Quick Access Toolbar. When I click on Save I choose the location to save my file. Then I type in the, de the name of the file. 
and we're actually going to use this file in a later le lesson to review some of the steps of what we did. You can refer to your textbook and you can also find some information about how to use the undo, redo, and re repeat commands in Word on page Word 15.